Hi, I'm Ed Fulbright, CPA, CGMA, PFS, a Fulbright Financial Consulting PA. We would like to welcome you to our educational briefing. While this is the time of year to hunt for Easter eggs, economists are busy searching for where economic growth landed in the first quarter. Their answers are all over the place. Economists at the Fed in New York last Friday put first quarter growth of the U.S. economy at 2.6 percent, while their counterparts at the Fed in Atlanta found it to be a full two points lower, at just one half of one percent. Meanwhile, that same day, a survey by the Wall Street Journal of 61 economists put first quarter growth at 1.4 percent. We won't find out the actual figure until it's officially released at the end of April. But the differing estimates from experts hint at the near-term uncertainty investors face. While predicting the future is never easy, lately it's been especially difficult. After the November 8th election, the stock market rallied strongly on hopes of a major tax cut. But in recent weeks, those hopes have given way to doubts. The expected tax cut had been banking on Obamacare being replaced. Since that legislative effort failed, hopes for lower taxes and a material economic stimulus plan have faded, giving way to a less robust view of economic growth. In a story on Friday, the Wall Street Journal said that growth forecasts for the first quarter had been lowered by the economists at surveys monthly. In December, the average forecast called for 2.3 percent growth in the first quarter. That had fallen to 1.9 percent in March and dipped again to 1.4 percent in the latest survey in April. While the uncertainty of the first quarter is likely to have talking heads sounding alarms, the economy is not doing badly at all. The average growth rate for the four quarters of 2017, forecast by the 61 economists surveyed in April by the Wall Street Journal, was 2.3%. While that was shaved from their forecast a month ago, that is fairly robust growth. The economy is not doing badly at all. Newly released retail sales figures ticked down for the second month in a row, and the financial press has reported this as a disappointment. However, the growth rate over the past year in retail sales has actually been booming. The 4.5 percent growth in retail sales year over year is very strong compared with the 3.1 percent growth rate at the peak of the last economic expansion. The Standard and Poor's 500 has, in recent weeks, fallen a couple of percent, but that is only slightly off from its all-time high. Investor euphoria that followed the election has given way to worries about how to finance tax reform without increasing the nation's budget deficit. Escalating tensions over North Korea's effort to acquire intercontinental nuclear missiles and the Syrian crisis are also adding to uncertainty. A correction of 10 or 15 percent could come at any time. However, predicting the growth rate of the U.S. economy for this quarter or forecasting the next drop or surge in stock prices is a guessing game. And stocks could also resume their rise at any time. While we hope you had a happy Easter, we're here to remind you not to approach investing like you're on a hunt for Easter eggs. The 2.3 percent growth for the U.S. economy that is expected for 2017 is not bad at all, and investing systematically and strategically based on a long-term financial plan is a better way. Thank you for listening. Please contact us with any questions, and also contact us if you're interested in our complimentary second opinion on your investments or to set up a meeting regarding your wealth. Don't hesitate to share this video with people who might benefit from our work. Thank you again, and have a great day.